what to do. Ten lost men in love, being pure of my skin, so fair as a crystal blue. Give a huge thank you to Megan for kicking me in the butt and calling me up yeah. a couple of months ago and saying, Corey's playing a gig, which means Alan's probably not busy. <laughs> and I think you should sing more of your own songs. So how about a bring up to Thank you, Megan, and thanks a lot. I love this festival so much. Um, I'd love to play a song that I meant to start with. Um, <laughs> it's a tune I wrote about a year ago. Uh, for somebody that I loved very much and lost. It's called When We Were Young.
hope It's the second time in as many weeks He hasn't shown He's probably chasing some old steer Across some prairie storm And when she asks him He'll just shrug and say That's the way things go But he only gets into town twice a month And he gets out as fast as he can and he don't have a phone, so she can't call him up, and she never knows where he is. He smells like horses, and he chews tobacco, and he cusses, and he spits. She's been in love a couple times before, but never quite like this. Next month it'll be those damned old rodeos and fairs And he'll be gone for six weeks straight to God only knows where And he won't win any money And worse than that he won't care And when she asks him he'll just smile He had a real good time out there but he only gets into town twice a month and he gets out as fast as he can And he don't have a phone so she can't call him up and she never knows where he is He smells like horses and he chews tobacco and he cusses and he spits She's been in love a couple times before but never but again, they were a couple lifetimes ago. I have none of them here, but I play on Corey's record, so buy his record. <laughs> yes, please. Anyway, I wrote this one with an uh, incredible songwriter um, from New York City, a guy I've been super fortunate to work on and off with for many, many years now. His name's Chip Taylor. Um, if you don't know his name, you definitely know some of his songs. He wrote Wild Thing. Which I kind of thought just wrote itself somehow, but it turns out he did. Um, yeah, the list of songs is, is beyond incredible, and I was very fortunate to write some of them. And this is one of them. It's called Over oh, You Lie Down. Megan, do I have time for one song after this, or should I stop after? No, keep going. No. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Next to me, oh, 
Yeah. On the bass guitar, Nick Amato, all the way from Jersey. I can't really say Jersey because I'm from Newfoundland. Jersey. Yeah. On the drums, ladies and gentlemen, a very special evening. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you in on it in just a second. Jeff Arson, I want the drums that you let you. This is the first gig we have ever done together. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we didn't really practice either. We did a half hour practice for an hour and a half gig. Remember I was saying it's a very special evening? Yes. It's because I'm having a really good hair day. I'm just messing with you. I am having a good damn hair day. Jeff's birthday. But I'm still loving 
take this next song with Chris Kirby. He's got his picture on the wall, man. He's famous as shit. Oh, so do I. I'm famous as shit. Okay. This is a, uh, it's a brand new tune. Gonna go on my brand new record. It's gonna come out in, uh, in 2092. Uh, it's only 17 years, two months, and eight days between my first two solo records. So, you know, I've got some time to get this one right. You know what I mean? This one's called Sunday Morning. Now, it's a crowd participation, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce you to the part that you need to sing with me, okay? Everybody's cool? Oh, yes. Yeah, you good? Everybody okay to sing? It's early in the evening, I know that, but... And it's a school night. Shit. But that's all right. We good? This one's called Sunday Morning. The premise about this song... So, this song is written about a dude that the only reason he goes to church on Sunday mornings is to sit next to the preacher's daughter. I don't really think he's down with Jesus. He just wants to get a little snuggle. So here, here's, here's the shit I need you to sing. Okay? My old man is a Pentecostal preacher. I'm probably the black sheep of the family. But it's okay. Yeah, yeah. You hear me? You can, you can hear me through the PA? No, I'm just joking. Just joking. This one's called Sunday Morning. Here's your part. Ready? You gotta get the actions down though. So when you go, can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Amen. That's good. Good night. I'm out of here. Everybody ready? Alright, here we go. We're ready? Alright, this is the first time I've ever done this with this band. Actually, Every song that I do tonight is the first time that I've done it with this band. So here we go.
we couldn't, we couldn't afford the flight, so that's it. Uh, I had to hire these assholes, so. It's called Still Drunk.
the record. Coming out in 2092. Record stores near you. Record stores will be back by then. Amen. Ain't that the case? I wrote this with, with uh, Chris LeDrew as well. Good. Glad yeah. somebody likes Chris. Yes! Yay, yeah, Chris LeDrew! Uh, this song uh, is, a, is a nice, mild, relaxed song called Devil Woman. <laughs> Romantic is right. <laughs> this is the first time this song has ever been uh, played in public. Everybody okay with that? Brand new experience. We're all going to have a brand new experience. Can you remember your first time listening to me play? We're all going to have a brand new experience here, folks. Just down the road. All right, everybody good? Thank you. 
lost a, uh, a national treasure, and certainly a provincial uh, treasure from Newfoundland. Uh, the effervescent Mr. Ron Hines passed away. He left a body of work that... Uh, that we all can be proud of. It's called Shines Like Diamond.